Hi everyone, welcome to today's unboxing with Yoseko stationery video. Today's video is going to be looking at the newly released Koweko Sport Bronze. So this is the Kaweco Bronze Sport and if anyone's not familiar with Kaweco, Kaweco has these very iconic sort of pocket style portable pens. They fit very portably into the pocket and they're often metallic. So this one is the new one. This is the Bronze Sport. And they also make these available in aluminum. Brass Sport is one of Yoseka's favorite uh, Kaweco Sport editions and there's also plastic bodied versions that are much lighter and uh, a little bit more affordable as well. Kaweco has been making these since around the 1910s, maybe 1911 or so. They've been making pens in this silhouette and they have these different facets on the body as you can see here. So it sits very flat, it doesn't roll around on your table in front of you. And they have this really cute little Kaweco embossed pretty much what every single Koweko Sport pen will look like, whether it's in brass or aluminum or steel or now bronze or plastic even. So for today's video, we are going to be looking specifically at the Bronze Sport, which was newly released and it is going to be a limited edition pen. One of the reasons why it's limited edition is actually, I found it very interesting, is because of the volatility of bronze and its availability. Sometimes it's really expensive actually, so they aren't able to release this as like a consistent product that they'll keep on manufacturing for years and years as they do the brass and, and the aluminum versions. So the bronze sport uh, is probably not going to be here to stay. It's just available for a short time because of the volatility of the bronze prices. And what's interesting about bronze is that it is a copper alloy. So um, it does have this sort of golden coppery color to it. And when you hold it side by side next to the brass, even though they are super close in color, the Bronze Sport definitely appears to be a little bit more golden, a little bit warmer, and we'll do a side-by-side -side for you all to see. One of the interesting things about bronze is, of course, that it's super heavy. So this is actually 48, 49 grams or so, we'll do a measurement, and copper has sort of antibacterial properties to it, which makes this pen um, an antibacterial down pen, which is really cool in this day and age. So without further ado, let's take a little bit of a closer look of the bronze sport and compare it to some of the other colors and the other found pens that might come really close to it. Just here on this pen tray, I have um, a lot of the other metallic sports from Kaweco and we have the bronze sport here. This is the brass sport. Maybe I'll rotate my pen tray like this. So up top, this is the bronze sport, this is the brass sport, this one is the steel sport, and this one is an AL sport. Different metallic finishes, different metallic materials that the Koweko sport comes in. And I think probably most of the comparisons will be made between these top three over here, the bronze, the brass, and the steel sport. So let's do a side-by-side -side of the bronze and the brass. The bronze sport is different from the brass, not just in the color, which you can see now that it's side by side, it's more, um, the brass is, it has on its own more of an antique look, but the bronze sport will patina over time as well. But if you can see, the bronze sport actually is different because it has a brushed finish. The brass sport is really smooth on the surface to the touch as is the bronze sport, but the bronze sport has these vertical sort of brushed striations all across the cap, as well as the, uh, the barrel of the fountain pen over here. So that's one of the distinguishing features of the bronze sport versus the brass sport. And one way that you can tell them apart right away just by looking at them. And then there is this like color distinction as well. And of course the brass sport says Kaweco brass sport and the Kaweco bronze sport says Kaweco bronze sport. And they both have that Germany because um, they're made in Germany. Okay. The Steel Sport is also here, and I think that some comparisons will be made between the Steel Sport and the Bronze Sport, just because they're both really heavy. So I actually have a scale here today so that we can do just some measurements and see how heavy each one is. So starting off with the Bronze Sport, 
It's weighing in at 49.13 grams. Oh, it just moved. 49, 49 grams, we'll say. And the brass sport is going to be 46 grams, so just slightly lighter. And then the steel sport is going to be 41 grams. So we have 49, 46, and 41 grams. So actually we do have the bronze sport as the heaviest um, out of these three fountain pens that we measured. And I think it definitely is one of the heaviest in the whole Coeco collection. So if you're somebody who enjoys a heavy fountain pen, then the bronze sport might just be the one for you. And since we're, since we're measuring things, I, I do have the AL sport, which isn't gonna come anywhere near because it's a light metal pen, um, but let's do that. So yeah, that one, the Ale Sport is just 20 grams or 21 grams if we're rounding, rounding up. So it's actually like less than half of the weight of the Bronze Sport over here. So that's really interesting. That wraps it up for this video, unboxing the Coeco bronze sport fountain pen. We took a look at the weight differences between some of Coeco's heaviest sport fountain pens and found that the bronze sport is the winner. Um, <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed today's video looking at the Coeco bronze sport and maybe um, this heavy, heavy fountain pen is the one for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.